Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today's video is the third and final in the three part mini series that explores how to print multiple colours using a single extruder machine. Today's example is this tag that was designed by Lauren from ABuzz Designs. And this technique comes with um, some fine print. It's not easy to do. It's not refined. It needs work. And uh, But I'll show you what I've got so far. Let's get into it. Alright, so first of all we're going to import both of the models for the tag, the inside and the outside. And we're going to align them according to their origins on the bed plate so that they're in the right place. Then you can see here that I've made a, a whole range of processes and grouped them together. And I'm just going to select colour 1 and 2 and assign them each to a particular part of the model. Now the very trick that I'm using here is the tool head index change. So colour 1 is tool 0, colour 2, tool 1, and so on and so on. And then in the tool, tool change script, I've uh, put in a bit of code here. Now, what I've done is it says if new tool equals zero, which color one is zero, then it's going to beep. It's going to change its uh, position reading from absolute to relative. It's going to raise the nozzle up by 50 millimeters. Then it's going to change the positioning back from relative to absolute. It's going to send X to home. After that, it's going to pause for, I think I said 40 seconds here. Now, that's probably not quite long enough. I can get it done in that time, but who knows. Uh, then it's going to beep again once it's finished pausing. I've got an additional piece of code here that's making sure it's on absolute, just in case. And... Um, then it just, it just restores itself and continues printing. So you've got 40 seconds to really sort of change the filament over in this time. Uh, it's important to add a retraction vertical lift in the settings here. I've got mine set to 0.8. That's as high as I can print up without the nozzle interfering with the layers around it. And then we select the two processes that we're going to be using to print. So in this case, color one and two. And we're going to change it from continuous to sequential printing with a max height clearance of 0.8. What this means is that it's going to print 0.8 millimeters up uh, before it needs to swap over to change colors. So that way I'm not changing every layer. I'm only changing as often as I really, really have to. I said this is an unrefined, uh, unfinished technique. The coding could use quite a bit of tweaking. I found I had trouble with the G code. Uh, even the wiki said some things would work that didn't work. There's also a lot of bugs in Simplify 3D. Um, sometimes if I use a skirt, uh, it stuffs up in strange ways. If I put comments on my coding, it doesn't work. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really sure why. I'm interested to see what you guys can come up with um, in terms of refining the code, of getting this to work a bit better. It's a lot of hard work. Um, it's very time consuming and laborious. It's, uh, it's obviously, to get these results with a single extruder, that's, that's kind of what we have to do at the moment. But um, yeah. So if you can be bothered giving this an attempt, let me know, tweet me some pictures, and um, show me what you've done. I'll be really interested to see how you can improve on this technique.
If you'd like to support the channel, you can. Every dollar you do counts. And it helps me bring more content and get materials to make more models and do more experiments and more fun things. Print all of the things. Thanks, guys.